Warm-Up is the world's best-selling electric underfloor heating brand, manufacturing high-quality products for whole house heating. This is a simple guide to installing Warm-Up's foil system for heating under floating laminate and carpet. This video does not replace the installation manual, so before starting your project, make sure you have read the installation instructions. In your warm-up pack, you will find the foil heating mat and the installation manual. Before beginning the installation, make sure you have a warm-up thermostat with floor sensor, a digital multimeter, a marker, measuring tape, aluminum foil tape to secure the mats to the floor, scissors for cutting the foil matting where necessary, a hammer and chisel. Make sure that your underlayment pad is best suited to your application. When installing warm-up foil heating mats on a concrete floor, it is advisable to install a thermal barrier to prevent heat loss to the cold concrete floor. For further information on suitable underlayment products, please contact Warm-Up or consult the installation manual. Ensure the floor surface is smooth, dry, and free from dust and debris, such as staples or nails that may damage the foil panels. Lay down the thermal insulation barrier or the regular underlayment padding provided by your flooring supplier. Remember that warm-up foil heating mats must not be laid under permanent fixtures or fittings like heavy flat-bottom furniture, such as bookshelves, kitchen islands, and TV units. Using a marker, identify the floor areas where units and fixtures will be installed. Take a moment to double check that your plan has the correct room dimensions. At this stage, you should test the foil heating system with a digital multimeter. It is important to test the system before, during, and after the installation. Check that the resistance between the two conductors matches the resistance shown in the manual and at the end of the cold lead label on each mat. Also check that the reading between each conductor and ground is completely open and that there is no resistance reading. Record your readings in the warm-up installation manual for warranty registration. Check the installation manual for more details and call warm-up with any issues. Start by laying the power cable in the location on the floor closest to the thermostat. If you are installing two or more foil heating mats, make sure that the power leads all reach the thermostat before you roll out the mats. If you are installing more than one heating mat to a single thermostat, remember each mat connects in parallel to the thermostat. Never join the mats in series and never overlap or place one mat on top of the other. The foil heating system can be cut and turned and modified to fit to a specific area. Never cut the heating wire and be careful that the ground braid that surrounds the heating conductors remains intact when you cut the foil. Apply aluminum tape across any exposed heating cables between two adjacent heating panels, ensuring that there is a continuous ground mesh. In a laminate or floating engineered wood installation, roll down the foil keeping a minimum of a 3-inch gap along the walls. When installing under carpet, always leave a 12-inch gap between the heating mat and the wall to allow the use of a carpet stretcher and gripper rod installation. Remember to not lay the foil heating mat under fixed fittings or furniture and never cut the heating wire. Perform another multimeter test to check that the heating mat has not been damaged and make a note of your reading in the warm-up installation manual. If your reading has changed, call warm-up immediately. Do not continue working. The floor probe measures the actual temperature of the floor, allowing complete, accurate control of the system. Your 3IE thermostat can be set to the specific flooring choice in order to limit the maximum temperatures reached. 
position the floor probe evenly between two of the heating elements, making sure not to cross the heating wire. Tape down the floor sensor about 12 inches into the heated area. If the probe or the power cables stick out, you may wish to recess them into channels cut into the foam padding or underlayment, or even cut a small channel in the plywood subfloor so that the probe does not sit proud of the subfloor. Tape down the probe wire, taking care not to apply tape to the tip of the probe. At this stage, you should perform another multimeter test on the heating mat and make a note of the reading in the warm-up installation manual. You are now ready to install the final flooring covering following the manufacturer's instructions. Once connected to the thermostat, you can start enjoying your warm floors straight away. However, check with your flooring manufacturer for any necessary waiting or settling periods. Don't forget to register your warranty online at warmup.com or warmup.ca. For more information, visit the Warmup website, email us, or call the 24-hour technical helplines.